Today I'm so excited because I will bring you along on a tour of a Jewish bookstore and I will show you as well five things you will only find in an Orthodox Jewish bookshop. If you have been here for a while, first and foremost, thank you so much for coming back to spend some time with me. It's so nice to be together again. And if you're new, hi, my name is Sarah Monka, and on my channel, I share all facets of my Orthodox Sephardic Jewish life as a full-time working mom with small kiddos. So please don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. Let me put on a pretty tickle and let's jump into it. After driving to the next city in the heart of the Hasidic community, we arrive at our favorite Orthodox Jewish bookstore in that area. And of course, because it is a Jewish store, you will see a mezuzah on the doorpost greeting you. The first thing you will see when you enter the store are books of Tehilim or Psalms. The book of Tehilim is one of the most important books in our faith as we recite psalms at any point in our day, whether in a structured fashion, as they are part of the three prayers we recite daily, morning, afternoon, and night. We can also recite psalms at any point in our day to offer praise and thanksgiving to God, or alternatively, in times of crisis and need, God forbid, as a form of supplication and even as a venue to express regret for sins. Most Orthodox Jews will have a book of Tehillim with them, whether in the car, at the office, and of course at home. The Book of Psalms come in all shapes and form, and also in many languages. Here we can find books of Tehillim in Hebrew, Spanish, French, and English. Next to the Tehillim, you will have the first item you will only find in an Orthodox Jewish bookshop, and that is mezuzah covers. You will find them in all styles and colors, and they come in packs or individually wrapped. The scroll that goes in the mezuzah case is bought separately at the sofer or scribe who handwrites each scroll with a special quill and ink on a parchment. The sofer will write the words of the Shema, which is a central prayer in our Orthodox Jewish life. It is a prayer we recite two times a day, in the morning and at night before going to bed. The cases usually are opaque to protect the scroll and come in different lengths to accommodate the sizes of the scroll, but the most common size is 15 centimeters. I really love this model with the shin like a fire, with a background like the wall at the Kotel or the Wailing Wall. What do you think? Is it a gay or a nay? Let me know in the comments below. The next item you will find in any Orthodox Jewish bookstore is our very special Sidurim or prayer books. What is interesting is that not all Sidurim or prayer books are the same as they cater to the needs of the four main groups of Jewish Orthodoxy and we will find to what group the Sidur caters to within the first pages of the Sidur. In this first Sidur, we see that it caters to our Ashkenazi brothers and the Nusar is Ashkenaz. Nusar in Hebrew refers to the traditions of a group and the text of the prayer used by a community will be reflected in each prayer box or Sidur. Here we see a Sidur used by our Hasidic brothers and their Nusar is Sfard. We also have the Chabad Orthodox Jews and their Nusar is Ari. And finally we have the Sephardic Jews with our Nusar which is called Sephardi or some will call it Nusar Edut Mizrahi. You might ask yourself, why do we have different Nusarim? It is because, albeit we are all Orthodox Jews, we have different traditions depending on what part of the world we come from. All these traditions put aside, there are no huge differences per se between the prayers. The most common difference between Sidurim will be the order of the prayer, what Tehilim or Psalm is recited when, some of the words used in the prayers will differ as well as the tunes they are sang in will change from one group to the next. And this is why if you go to a Sephardic synagogue and then a Hasidic synagogue for example, the experience of the tefillah or the prayer will differ quite a bit. 
As with our tehillim, our sidurim come in all kinds of designs and sizes as we always have a sidur near us wherever we go, whether in hotels, on vacation, and of course we always have one in our car, at work, and at home. Next to the sidurim, we have another item you will find in any good kosher bookstore, and that is the talit or shawl. There are two kinds of talit. There is the talit katan or small shawl, which is the four corner garment with strings or pitilim attached to each corner that our Orthodox Jewish men wear under their clothes. The other kind of talit is called the talit gadol or large prayer shawl that men will wrap themselves in during the morning prayer. Most of our Sephardic men will have both kind of talit all in white and our Ashkenazi and Hasidic brothers will have black lines on both kinds of talit. If the strings of the talit get broken, no worries, you will also find some replacement petilim or strings in this door. You will also find some talit bag that men use to carry their talit or prayer shawl, tefillin or phylacteries, as well as their sidurim or prayer book. They also have everything that is needed to maintain their tefillin looking as new as possible with special black ink as well as repair pens. They also have beautiful little pockets to keep some tzedakah or charity money to give to the people who are collecting for charitable organization every day in synagogue. Next to the tefillid maintenance kit, you will have the second item you will only find in an Orthodox Jewish bookshop, and that is girdle. These are special belts that Hasidic men will wear over their bekecha or overcoat when they're praying. If you ever saw any movies where they depict Hasidim, you will see them wrapping a black sash before praying. And there is a running joke in our community that the Hasidim are wearing a girdle because they attained a black belt in prayer arts. But seriously, what is the meaning of that sash? There are many reasons, and one of the reasons is that the girdle is reminiscent of the belt which the Kohen or priest would wear during their service in the Holy Temple in Jerusalem. It is for this reason that many are particular to wear their girdle at elbow height, just as the priests of old did. The girdles are usually black, but they come in white as well when they are worn over the white kittel, which is a special white overcoat Hasidim wear on certain holidays like Yom Kippur and Passover or Pesach. Next, we have another item I am sure will not surprise you to be found in an Orthodox Jewish bookstore, and that is our written Torah, and more specifically, the 24 books which compose our written Torah. One of these 24 books is called the Chumash, which is often referred to in most of the world as the Old Testament. We also have the other part of the written Torah, which is called Ketuvim, or writings, that include all the Megillot, like the book of Esther and Ruth, and finally we have the book of Nevi'im, or prophets, which includes the book of Yermiyahu, or Jeremiah, and so many more. Our written Torah, as we call it, our Torah Shibirtav, and its 24 books can be found in one concise book called the Tanakh, which is an acronym for Torah, Nevi'im, and Ketuvim. And if you see me at shul or in synagogue, you will see me with this book because it is a one-stop shop for anything related to the written Torah, and I absolutely love it. Of course, in an Orthodox Jewish bookshop, you will find the Oral Torah, or Torah Sheba al -Peh, which includes the Mishnah and the Talmud, or Gemara. Usually, the Tanakh will be studied by men and women alike, and the Talmud will mostly be studied by men. You will also find some yarmulke or kippah in an Orthodox Jewish bookstore, which are hats worn by men as a constant reminder to have reverence for the one above. There are many kinds of kippah, but in Orthodox circle, you will find mostly the black velvet one for men. The particularity of the kippah worn by Orthodox Jewish men is that it is lined. One side is the velvet, and the other side is the cotton. 
The different styles of kippah usually varies between different Jewish denominations. For example, the Orthodox Jewish men will wear a black velvet kippah and a crochet kippah will be worn by more traditional Jewish men. Some men will even sleep with special cotton kippah like these ones. Of course, this could not be a kosher Jewish bookstore without a kid's section. You have everything from baby's book to children's novel and comic books, all catering to our way of life. Thank God our children are all avid readers like Daddy and Mommy, so we have no convincing to do for them to come with us to the Jewish bookstore. Next to the children's book, we will have the third thing you will only find in an Orthodox Jewish bookshop, and that is kosher toys. Here the toys are geared to the Jewish community, like these plush challah and cover kits so our children can prepare their own little Shabbat meal. They have pretend talit or prayer shawls so our boys can imitate their daddy when he wears his talit during the prayer. They also have learning games as well, like the Aleph Bet Bingo. And for the older children, they have this Aleph Bet Wheels to learn the Jewish Aleph Bet as well as the vowels. And for the adults, we have Boggles in Yiddish and Hebrew. They also have amazing puzzles, large and small for big and small children, all with depiction of beautiful scenery of our daily life, like this one, with a little Jewish boy saying Shema before going to bed. They have matching games for young and old, like this travel set where you have to match the rabbis. They also offer electronic games in Yiddish and Hebrew, as well as in English. They have cute music instruments like mini pianos, as well as microphones with preset famous Jewish song to sing along. We also have our own Playmobil sets and little people sets with Jewish people in different scenarios, at home, being a first responder with Hatzalah, doing acts of kindness, and so many other things. You might be asking yourself, do we play with regular games? And the answer is yes, we do play with brand name games, and at the same time, it is really fun for the children to play with our kind of toys and games that represents what they see in their life and reflect our values. Of course, in a kosher bookstore, you also find kosher cookbooks, and like we already discussed in our kosher kitchenware store, the books are made to fit our kosher laws, and as you can see, we have Sephardi, Ashkenazi cookbooks, low-gluten, paleo, low-carbs, and so much more to fit everyone's kosher lifestyle. Like in a non-Jewish bookstore, we also have many other kind of books, whether self-help, child rearing, history, financial advice, marriage advice books, novels, and so much more. Maybe another question you have is, are we allowed to read non-Jewish or secular books? And the answer is yes. We are particular about what we would read outside of Jewish books, as we want for the information to align with our beliefs, so we'll buy cookbooks for vegan, let's say, repair books, craft books, and other books which content is neutral. Then we have the fourth item you will only find in an Orthodox Jewish bookshop, and that is Orthodox Entertainment. That includes music, book on a CD, and movies on USB keys, CD, or DVD, as many of our Orthodox brothers and sisters do not have open access to the internet, so they still listen to music and watch videos through CDs and DVD players. We have also our own Orthodox Jewish movies. One of my favorite is Ushpizin, and I highly, highly recommend it. The other items you will find in a Jewish Orthodox bookstore is laminated prayers like the Sheba, and also laminated Birkat Amazon or Grace After Meal to protect them from dirty fingers or to protect them from the rain when we are outside sitting in the sukkah and it is starting to rain at the end of the meal. In front of the store, we have many things to beautify our house, like crystal candlesticks, as well as gorgeous silver trimming to add to the talit gadol or prayer shawls of our husbands. 
because the same way we elevate our Shabbat table by putting beautiful glassware, flatware, and challah boards, we also beautify what we wear to serve God, and that includes men talit gadol too. And finally, we arrive at the fifth item you will only find in an Orthodox Jewish bookshop, and that is a Torah Yad or a Torah Finger. The man who reads directly from the Torah scroll is called a Baal Kore, and he will use the Yad because he does not touch the parchment of the Torah with his bare finger, because the Torah scroll is so holy or Kadosh in Hebrew, therefore he can only touch it through the Yad. The Baal Kore who reads the Torah will use the Yad to follow the words on the Torah scroll and he will sing the words of the Torah following the Ta'amim or specific tune. This reading of the Torah is so special to us and fills our heart and soul with the words of God all week long. I'm curious to know, what was the item that surprised you the most in this Jewish bookstore? please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for being here. It means the world to me. And know that in my book, by you being you, makes this world, and especially my world, a better place to live in. If you are here until the end, please write in the comments. I love bookstores, so I know I was not alone. And because I want for you to always remember if nobody told you today, know that you are loved and you are enough just the way you are. Until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and don't forget to from it up. I hope you